is an investigation day. Uh, this should be day three investigation now. We're kind of like finishing up. I, I think there's probably a few lines of text here. Here we are. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now I have it. Or, but now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. And that's pretty much what I said from the very beginning, was April May is a, like, a terrible person. May testimony. The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Oh, I think I'm getting sick. My nose is feeling like goopy, like I can't breathe through my nose. Not gonna breathe through my mouth. I don't know how much good this one will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in the detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. To be continued. I'll have to remember that there's a to be continued. That way I know when to end it. And there's also a save point. Funny enough, you already have two pieces of evidence that contradict the statement you just got. We'll see. Yeah, the map itself... Number one, the map itself... If she dodged to the right, okay, she would have... She's barely in view here. So if she dodged to the right, then she shouldn't have hit... She shouldn't have seen her get hit. She could presume, but then again, why was the body by the window? Shouldn't she have seen it? I suppose you could say... Maybe she dodged to the left, and that's why everything on the left side is knocked down. But that being said, that's the only side that has anything, so we don't know how long the tussle was. According to her statement, her statement says that, you know, she dodged to the right. But yeah, the, uh, the thing is broken on the left side. We also have the shards of glass, which, they, which we picked up for no reason, and are questioning if it actually belongs to the lamp. That being said, I don't know what else it could have been. Other than perhaps evidence that was inside of the thinker, but I don't know. The only way Maya could kill her sister would be by surprise. Alright, we're at the detention center. It's April, May! Well, hello! You're in jail. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dang place like as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Oh my. You come to laugh. Yes, laugh at the fall of Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. I mean, you, I mean, you, you were a liar, so I mean, what did you really expect? The fact that there was a fight in the room is evidence that May didn't do it. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So what is it you wanted to ask me then? Huh? Start is how did you how did you get to be totally whacked? Oh my god, it's playing our music. Okay, we're okay, nothing changed here. Who's the man? Should we start with the attitude? Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. That does it, blood beating scum sucking lawyer. Bottom. Can you tell me, does she have a thing against lawyers? Or is it just against me? I mean, we did send her to jail. Who's the man? Not the man who stayed your, er, with you in your hotel. <clears throat> Can you tell me about him? Where is he? 
Come on. No way, Jose. I... Why'd you put this place this wiretap in my and uh, Mia's phone? Aw, oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Uh, tapping people's phone is a crime, Miss May. <laughs> oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, huh? Creep. Her. Class? Hey, guess what? Actually, I, uh, I really hate your guts. So get lost because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Okay. Okay, I don't think I have anything. Okay, I don't think I have anything to, uh, do for her. Wait, why is the painting gone? That's a little weird, don't you think? Dun dun dun, yeah, like, what just happened? Why, why is it showing me that? Okay, let's go to the Gatewater Hotel first, then we'll go check out Grossberg for... ...whatever reason it's going on there. <laughs> September 7th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, uh, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only... Help get the water, gate water's rep, as they say. Rep? Yes, her reputation uh, will swell as the hotel where the, murder used, the murderer used a wiretap. We could charge a premium for the, the room, of course. It would be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, I too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murder iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So you are our honored guest. Please let me know if you need anything, or if you, if there's anything I can bring you. Oh, there's still a screwdriver you're stuck in that drawer. Ah, oh, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding up, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. A vase as expected. Thinks they're sunflowers like a clown. Nice weather again today. I can see the fan kill law offices, of course. Ah, yes, we plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. That, you, I don't think you can do that. Just five dollars will earn you three minutes to view, er, of a view a killer. Just joking, sir. <laughs> By the look in his eyes, I'd say he's more than serious. A simple bed. Alright. I guess we just got to talk to him. Alright, let's see. Uh. The man with May. I wanted to ask you the man, er, about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. Let me get. Let me. Or, he struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. You sound like you're just making it all up. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. We are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of the man, I'm quite sure I can identify him. A photo? Hmm. Huh. Okay. 
Okay, let's talk about Miss May then. Not Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Did he say in court he didn't see the person inside? I don't know if he said he didn't see him. He did. He just said that he knew that. No, he should have saw him because he checked her in with him. I assume he did see him. Or see, or see him. He may have been distracted by Miss May, but I assume he at least saw the guy. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Can you tell me about the hotel? Absolutely, and on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, currently, this is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater, or er, the Gatewater Hotel, Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Uh, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. Who's more focused on the plot than she being a possible murderer? That's true. I'm sorry, all I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I was paying much attention to the evidence. Huh. The big boy talks like he owns the place. Yeah, he really does, and I think it's I think that's actually due to how they do the writing. Um I think that's how they do the I think that's just how they do the writing. Um uh For example, they don't want to have multiple people. But I'm not sure. Like the screwdriver sticking out of the drawer. Oh, we're keeping it there because of this. It's like, no, it's drawn into the background, isn't it? <laughs> September 7th. Grossberg Law Offices. That really was a hint. Huh? Looks like Grossberg's out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Wait a second. Isn't there a giant painting hanging out of that wall? Yeah, and it was a painting of... Marvin Grossberg. Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Okay, I don't remember. That's interesting. What's this? An old, old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written on pencil in the back. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Let's look at A. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Uh, doesn't look familiar to me. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Photograph. Qu quietly added to the court record. A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Yeah, let's swap it. I think I swap them. Huh. Interesting. It was a fisherman. Oh. Hey, let's try it again. Uh, okay. It wasn't sunflowers, I know that. Okay, so we have this photo, which, uh, we, we already know what it is. The illusion of choice. Oh, hello. Let's think for a second. So he, he literally said, if you give me a photograph, I could probably identify the person. And wham, bam, here's a random photo. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Uh, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How would I write an official affidavit? 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 Affidavit. It's an affidavit. That is the goofiest word. Uh, that is easily one of the words that I would not normally uh, remember in any way. How would I write an affidavit swearing that's him? Should the hotel records have the name of the man with her? Yeah, you'd think so. An affidavit? This guy's way too excited about this. 
Yep, write it. Oh, sure, why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. And henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the, er, swore the affidavit. Okay, let me actually find out what an affidavit is specifically. Define affidavit. Here's the definition of affidavit. A written statement. Oops. A written statement confirmed by oath or affirmation uh, for use as evidence in court. Okay. Cool. Just hurry up and write it. Bellboy's affidavit describes the man who stayed with April or er, with Miss May at the hotel on the night of the murder. This bellboy should marry April's good side. <laughs> Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. See if he added no, he didn't. Okay. Let's go see Miss May and see how she reacts to this. You again? Can you take a hit and stay gone? Hey, the reason, the only reason I'm here, or I'm back, is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. Well, this case is done. I'm shaving my head. Something tells me that's a lie. Whoa. This scroll's pretty heavy. It's a heavy scroll. Alright. I'd like to take a look at this. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times. I'm not telling you. Oh. Where did you... Aha! The re a reaction. That's him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel in the night of the murder. No. No, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Did you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. Who is most definitely this guy. <gasps> now I'm getting somewhere. Push her hard. Ease her fears. No, 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 no. We're gonna snap her. Let's snap her. We're, should we? Should we? We're not gonna ease her fears. See, last time we pushed her hard, she started saying everything incriminating in the court. <laughs> so let's do it again. Zit, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. And he's playing dumb. If indeed that's that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? <laughs> Even though he should have been, he should have been witness to the murder. Your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fist in the air? <laughs> now, tell, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. What? He's your boss? Wait, should we believe her? Red, white. Whoa, we heard about that. Wait, white. Where did we hear that before? White. 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 Where did we hear white? Oh, I think it was. I think it was in the pre. It was in the pre case. You heard about it in the intro to this case. Yeah, they they said red, white. They said red, white, and blue. So where's the blue come in? That's a good question. Um, and I think Mia's actual last word was white, if I remember correctly. I, I can't remember. I remember hearing it in the intro. You're right. Red, white, the president uh, of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Wait, that's the person who wrecked Maya's mother red white wait no wait maybe maya said white she said white and then she like dot 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 she or she'd be all like ellipsis and then she like changed the subject or something i can't remember information gathering well i suppose you could call it a detective agency hmm. so this is the man that was with you the night of the murder I'm, I'm scared to talk. 
I don't want to end up like her. Whoa. That's interesting. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? It'll make sense after the next step. Mr. Red White, at last. Finally. A lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done... Couldn't have done it. That leaves him. That's true. Time to take action. Bellboy's officia... Er, wait. Uh, affidavit discarded. Why did we discard it? Okay. Time to go to Blue Corp. We haven't talked to... We haven't talked to, um... What's her face? Maya. Let's go to Blue Corp. Uh... Why is the painting here now? September 7th, Blue Corp. Uh, Incorporated CEO's office. I'm not, I'm not really liking these tales. It's with the surreal decor. Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personage. Okay. Your name, what's your name? I was just inquirably, uh, inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right? Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. You know who I am? Splendiferous. I'm not really a fan of this guy's linguistics. Define splendiferous. Here's the definition I have an idea. Of splendiferous. Informal. Humorous. Splendid. It's just a humorous word version of splendid. Yeah, it's kind of what I thought. All right, let's see. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my gigantesque vocabulary? You're just making this up. What's this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. Oh, okay, Red, White, and Blue. There's the Blue. Okay, Blue Corp. Duh. <laughs> I, kinda, I kinda missed that. You know, corporate expansion official? My business dealing, dealings bring me into contract with the elite of the elite. Fur. I still don't know if wiretaps record or they're just live. You know what I mean? Because if they're if they record, like this right here would be might even have all sorts of things on it. All right, let's see. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordly challenge. Wordly challenged. Wiretap should only let you here. Okay. What a fruitcake. Hmm. Let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What's mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with such a or with a man such as myself? Ooh, I'm mighty. This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Did I sing this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculousity. I have no interest in anything but the or but originals. That right there is a bona, f bona fide original worth five million for sure. Ugh. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judge special, judges special runner-up best participation. Judges Cooperation Award. Special Good Try Prize. These don't... These don't sound like they're... These don't sound like first place trophies. Where's judges and special kind of stand out? A statue of, of a man holding up the world. Blue Corpse sign. Sure, certainly stands out enough. The model is... The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too butatious 
for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too butatious for just about anyone to appreciate. But sound like participation trophies. They really do. Another plant that we're going to ignore. A really goofy table that I'm not a fan of. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My oh, mind, this is quite the uh, thing. It's modeled on my body, see? Well, does its sleek rounditure not inspire you? Uh, no. Not exactly. Okay? Let's talk about Blue Corp. Let's get him talking first. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, oh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. You're making money by selling information? We're a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Yeah, that is, uh... Sounds like Google. Or Facebook. <laughs> well, there you have a motive for the wiretap. That's a really good point. Sell information? In just ten years, I built the business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. Really? I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named itself. So a great question about this is, what was it actually in Japan? You know, like, what was the original name for this guy? I doubt his name was Red White. You know, they went Red, White, and Blue, you know, which is kind of like a patriotic thing, especially here. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. See, now that just sounds like completely made up. Have you noticed a seemingly French accent? Do you think... Do you think that it's, it's for... It's because he's French? Red, white, and blue. That is their flag colors, I believe. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can see that. France flag, yeah, exactly. Uh, isn't that where that girl came from? I don't, like, there's so much connected to this between Japan and France, I guess, right now. All right, let's keep going. Fantabulistic. Okay, that's not even something I say. He likes to... He likes blue in dresses. In dresses in pink. Fantabulistic. Now, I say fantabulous as a joke. But fantabulistic... Alright, time to start pressing. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she had done. What she had done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. Hold up, Mr. White. Hold up, Mr. White. Now... So is it that your business of selling information? She does gather information up for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. Uh-huh. That's why you're in this beautiful office right now. It was... Ineffable. Is that a, is that a word? That she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you were you in Miss May's hotel room? Who can say I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place? What? Today we learn words with Mr. White. Thank you for that, Mondu. That's exactly what's happening. I seldom pay attention to such mundane de or to mundane details such as time and place. That sounds ridiculous, and you know it. My motto is, "Don't worry, be happy." What? Really? Still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. 
no matter. The bellboy can say as he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want to, er, if you want to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be, able to be capable of doing that. Oh, this is a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Great question. He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, oh. the police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes? What might that be? Big painting on the wall over there. It's gorgeous, though. Where'd you get it? Say, where'd you get that painting? Hmm. No idea, I forgot. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? What? Right. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good, I admit. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Uh, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. It's Gross Burger. What? Ugh. Oof. Wait, did he just beat me up? Uh. He punched me. Whoa. He can't do that. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what would you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Hmm. That was interesting. Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my ex exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. We'll see about the judge if he's on your side. So you say. But I wonder. Is that the kind of control he... Is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your comprehension. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? It's Mr. Grossberg's, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that the painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. Huh. Interesting, so he assaulted me. I don't think he's doing me, noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? <clears> throat> Jumping Jehoofus, Jehoosephus. I can't stand. I can't stand that. Oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Phoenix, really? Hmm, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about the whole mess. Nothing's really bothering him. That much is clear. Let's talk about Mr. White. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something's been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Why wouldn't you defy? Why wouldn't you defend Maya? I thought it was strange. Here was Maya, your own apprentice's little sister, in desperate need, accused of killing her own sister, no less, and you wouldn't take the case. I finally realized why. You and Red White are connected. He's your lover. <laughs> I'm guessing blackmailing him, but we don't have any evidence of that. But maybe he is. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. Ah, we've hit it. I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White... or er, Red White's office. So, you noticed... I suppose I should have guessed you would. 
It's a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, tell me what happened. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels at finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of the photographs. As you suspected, I cannot stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White is, will be nigh uh, on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. He gives it. He it gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and the politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to them to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing nothing more than sh uh, of sorting the code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. Ah. I'm surprised you haven't realized it yet. DL6? No, I no, I, I don't know if I would have... I suppose... Yeah, you're right, because from the pictures... Oh, I guess it does look like her, doesn't it? Yeah, touche, good job. And what Grossberg just said. Yeah, you're right. Me? Her name was Misty Faye. Faye. Indeed. She was... She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the request of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Aya was talking about the other day. What if she liked water type Pokemon? Makes you wonder. Wait. They. Did they. Did they seriously add another M name? You gotta be kidding me. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of her wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remained unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. Thank you, Monday. It made sense. The police didn't want the people to know they were using a medium. Really? You know, it, it's honestly fascinating that Twitch doesn't catch some of these things faster. Like, they should have the ability to hop on these kind of things much easier. Just looking at some of, like, the way, like, some of the messages look and that kind of thing. It's like... I feel like a, a Twitch bot could work. They're adding symbols to avoid bots. It's interesting. I mean, I, I would love to see them just add, you know, it's like start adding, like, some of these things. So it's good, it's good research for them, I suppose, to see how they're actively changing it and that kind of thing, how they uh, continue to do that. But I, I, I admit, if they are getting into symbol use like that, then um, there's a really good chance they're getting close to blocking a ton. You know what I mean? So they're, they're probably on it. They couldn't let the people know, but one person found out. I... Uh, I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. Let's see. 
quite controls the law of this country as he sits, sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Maya's office. Or Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something that she will her of what she found. And that is why. And that is the motive. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just be a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Yeah, it would have been your fault. No, oh, no, I'm sorry. I just need to think more time to think about it, my boy. Okay, so we already we already know what that is. That's why I kind of skipped that. Let's show him the photo of this guy. Hey, I stole this from your desk. Sorry, sir. I borrowed this. Ah, so it was you, my boy. Who is this man? Uh, it's a long story. I'll be needing that back now. I just want to talk about it for some reason. Huh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Alright, I believe we're done here. So we need to go back to the Fey offices to see if there's something else. It's funny looking at this room. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Got the plant. Guess I water it now. The sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. What? There's the movie poster, an old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that Mia... Mia er, that made Mia cry when she saw it. I have to check it out one of these days. All the cases the Chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Red, white, and blue, I guess. Let's see if there's an A record in this file that catches my eye. That's really bad. A, B, C, F, Mr. Fay. That's, that's me and Maya's mother. Uh, should I take a look? Sure. I have tarnished the, the Fay name, leaving these words for my mother vanished. I was determined to find the one who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. Hmm, Mia knows this stuff. Has attorney. <laughs> the other was a man who sold information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and co coercion. His name is... Well, the record stops there. We know who it is. So Mia knew Grossberg. J.S. Let's see. J through S. Nothing much here. Maybe I'll just give some of this? Sure. Let's do it. Uh, well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest parts here is the end in S, suicide, ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. Is this Mia's handwriting? Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clipping. An article about a politician's suicide. The word white is written at the, on pencil at the top. Ooh, good stuff. Good thing we checked. Let's check it. T to Z. T, U, you know, W, white. <gasps> the entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Alright, we got clues. 
I think that was it. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing missing is Mia. Huh. I guess we could just have... Technically, we could go see Maya, but Maya doesn't really have anything else to do, huh? Go back to Grossberg. Alright, Grossberg. Time to talk. Show him the newspaper clipping. I found this in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red White, as expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. It's true. Okay, maybe we could get... Oh, wait. Maybe we could get, um, uh... Oh. Oh. The bellboy seems to be out. Huh? A sound of water is coming from the shower. La-di-da. Money-making, money-making. I got the money-making blues. Oh, no. You think he was paid? Oh, no. What do you think he did? He probably sold information to Red White. He made the money, so he made the money, and then he's going to get blackmailed. Somebody seems to be enjoying washing the showers. All right, let's... Can we get in this drawer yet? The screwdriver's still stuck in the drawer. Better not touch it. No telling what the bellboy would do to me. Okay, we don't know if there's... Okay... Hey, there's nothing here. Okay, we're gonna go to the detention center. If we could get April May on my side? Apparently Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. Uh, guess we could just go to Blue Corp and get our bottom handed to us. I mean, what am I gonna do? Show him the piece of paper and then, and then um, uh, him rip it out of my hands? But honestly, I'm kind of out of options here. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Let's go. Let's just do it. It's probably gonna kill me. Here it goes. It's the only clue that Mia left me. I'm gonna make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embe embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how. I found it in this article in Mia's office. It's Mia. She had, a file, or she had a, a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmailed? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. Am I, I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong? What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Mia. Interphone. I... Okay, interphone. So I, I think, like an intercom? Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, yeah, sir, I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're right. You're wrong. You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I found him. He's sitting right in front of me. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was, was on you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tabbing her phone that Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. Now that is a case. So the culprit would be... 
Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Interesting. Wait, is that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? Give me a phase case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, I am very I am a very important witness. I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietitude. Qu quietitude. Quietitude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one more thing. Send the police over here right away. The man in front of me... Er, the man standing... Er, the man standing right in front of me. He looks dazed. It could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer. The ma man. What? Mr. White, isn't it? Mr. White, isn't this another one of those... Chief Prosecutor? I do not believe you are in a position to freely or to freely offer me your opinion, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You were a mere lawyer. Ah, was Miss My was Miss Mia. Or as was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss as Miss Mia's killer. Yeah, th this did seem likely right from the beginning. I mean, I was in the office. I am one of the two people there, and uh, Gumshoe didn't even try to accuse me. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer uh, of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look incompetent. Uh, I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, Butts, Harry Butts. Right, actually Phoenix, right. As my friend's name is Larry. Mama Mia. Alright, sorry pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Rong. You guys all falling for this? We can't be serious, right? I can't believe this. It's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be on it. Of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Good idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Huh. Now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? <laughs> I explained what had hap happened to Miss Maya. Maya, whatever. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. And now you? This has gone too far. Mr. Wright. Please tell me if there's anything I can do. Oh, uh, well. Defend me in court? Alright. You can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. Alright. Huh? Leave it to me. I'm Mia's sister after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. Isn't it ghost powers that ran in your blood? I better run. I better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. Wait, 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 wait. What? What, what, what? I'm just kidding. It was a joke. No way! No, really. I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyways. But I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Oh, you got to be careful. He'll wreck you if you get in the way. Okay. Then come tomorrow to the trial. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two, so I think sh I think I'm gonna be able to call her as a witness or something. Times may change, yet with crimes it's the same old story. 
In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Oh, this is the thing. This is the thing you were telling me about, Vondu. Beginning a few, a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for, for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. Ooh, this is gonna be good. To be continued. Save progress? Yes. Now, this has been really good. I am going to actually continue this today. Um, we're only... Yeah, we're only one hour in, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue. I'm excited. Funny enough, this won't be the last time Phoenix gets accused accused on the stand. Or on the accused stand. I have no doubt about that. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, the Phoenix, look! Hi, Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever... Or I was told whatever Mr. White says today will be the absolute truth. Edgeworth. You're a smart man. Don't fall for that. And why do you look like you're a vampire? Like, you're seriously dressed like Count Dracula. Which is great, for the record. No matter how you try to attack his testimony... If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. Does White have... What does White have the... Wait, what? Does, or does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty? End of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Edgeworth, you've, maybe you should become a defense attorney. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The, the guilty always er, will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. Edgeworth, that's ridiculous and you know it. Like, what about innocent people who get accused of this? You're literally just a cog in the machine of horrible. So I make it my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Huh? Phoenix, you know him? <gasps> Do we? Don't expect any special treatment of Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But well, wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet! They're not... I'll be defending myself. I've always wondered about this concept of defending yourself. They always say it's a bad idea. But I really am curious, like, if there's a, it, like, if there's ever a good, I, if it's ever a good idea. I've always wondered this. Like, it's like, should you defend yourself? Probably not. Like, how smart do you have to be to defend yourself in a court case? Sally, I don't think, Sally, I don't think you have game where you get to have Phoenix as the defendant in this collection. I think it's a fourth game. The one with that. It is interesting. What? Okay, let's do this. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. In what way? Oh, man. He's going to have a good... He's going to have a good testimony somehow. That's very sad because... That case is great. I, I mean, this case is great. The first case was great. I'm loving all these cases. Like, this game, just in general, I think I just like the concept of the game. <gasps> Court is now in session for the trial of Phoenix, of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Judge, do you, do you not see how ridiculous this is getting? Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. 
as the details of the event are already quite clear to the court. Today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. Quick question, why wasn't this witness here in the first place? Prosecution may call its witness. Went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edge Ed or Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? Exactly. It's like, it's, he already knows why. If anyone's going to raise an objection about it, I suppose it's me. Raise an objection. Mr. Edgeworth, you want an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify at the trial against Miss Maya Fay? <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man. And besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. That's it. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. John, are you serious? Great, he gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Oh, Mr. Red White, who's sitting here saying, you know, oh, he's also the witness. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? I hate this guy. Uh, your name? Yes, that's what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? My lo 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 locations? I don't know what that is. Name. These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Okay, so is Nino red? Blanco's white, I believe. Manly white. And red and manly red. Nino is that's Italian for kid. Alright, no, I don't know. White kid? <laughs> they, they call it they call him white kid? And the CEO or use or or use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be negatory? No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem. Why well, tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White, you may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do you always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Yeah, I usually, like, every case usually is like, this is the last chance. Ho <laughs> ho I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. Testimony, or witness testimony. Witness count. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quite... Per perusifying, or er, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a, a bed bed bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. That's when I saw him, the, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, the man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer called Miss May o over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she... She ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. I mean, I, yes, if things occurred as you testify, yes, I would be guilty. That makes sense. Very well, Mr. Defendant, or, I mean, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor. All right, let's do it. Let's see, it was about 9 p.m., I believe. How do you know what time it was? Because I'm always absolutely... I'm so positively perfect, you know? What? 
Oh, no, no. You're not getting away with that. You're so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyways, Miss May ordered room service for 9 o'clock. It happened soon after the room service arrived. That's what Miss May said, too. To press for True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. <laughs> this, is your this is your concern? Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. He would need x-ray vision to put off something like that. Tell us what you were doing at the time. It's quite perusifying, and uh, it's reading to you. Some papers by the window. Hold it. The window. You mean the one directly across from Faye and Co.'s law offices? Correct. It's the only window, you see. And there you were reading papers? Correct. The game. Water is a business man's is a businessman's hotel. And I am busy. I am a busy man who had done wait, had business to do. Boy, I'm having a hard time reading today. That's when I heard Bedlam coming from outside. Hold it! Bedlam. It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We'll see. Continue. Surprised, I turned to look across the building or er, looked at the building across the way. So you're reading your papers until you heard that sound. But of course, I'm no snoop peeping out of a window at night. No snoop, yeah, right. You made that career out of snooping. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Spiky-haired. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Counting both eyes? 40. 40. Don't add them together. Then the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side are you on? Or whose side is the judge on anyway? But what did you do then? I called Miss Mabel over at once. She too was surprised, of course. What was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on TV and was weeping, o weeping openly. No. It would have happened, it happened around 9 o'clock. Wasn't she answering the door? Did you know she'd been tapping in Faye's office, her office phone? That's, yeah, I can't whip that out. Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with this case at hand. I care not. I will answer this lawyer's bold, bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone for the Faye woman. You make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh, <laughs> I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. The victim, she... she ran away, but you gave chase. Let's push him here. Can be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Comprehende. I understand. The victim was attacked, it was attacked by you, and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. You sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail? The victim ran to the left, and you gave chase. Time to present it! Objection! Wait right there. Mr. White, you dug your own grave. Phoenix, a little preemptive there. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But this directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. All we're doing is discrediting. She clearly stated the victim ran to the right. Phoenix, this just discredits Miss May. This isn't going to help us. Oh, ho, ho. it's simple. You have misheard her. 
I misheard her. That means the entire court misheard her. He's just gonna change the perspective on us. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. And the victim was here. If the victim ran to the left as you claimed she did, she would have been er, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. It's a good point. Did you find that odd? <gasps> oh, okay. And that's the good part. Lies begets more lies. Thanks. Thanks, Mia. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. And she did run to the left. She ran to his right. True. I mean, he really did see the victim run to the left. Run to the left towards the window? So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. May says right, and, White's, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain the contradiction to the court? Both are right. Be right back, quick, lunch. Both are correct. Right was in the room. That's why she ran to the right. Right. Left. No, that would put... Yes, both are correct. Both witnesses are telling the truth for once. Ha! I doubt it. Uh, rather, it does clear up. That does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario which would explain the conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay Co., of course. <gasps> More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. Wright, where Mr. Wright was standing. Take that! <clears throat> this is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, if he had been watching from this point of view, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. <clears throat> Big up. Order, order, I will have order. Anyone, dis anyone disturbing the court in this courtroom will be held content in contempt. Mr. Wright, are you suggest what are you suggesting? Risk. Respigallion! I don't know what that means. Objection. Can't object. Postulations of the defense are the distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Oh, 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 oh. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. Well, now, he's laughing. The hilarity of the moment has made me remember something. It appears I've been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, why are we allowed to testify once more? Ah, more lies. This will help us. Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. Can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. We still have the glass. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, first she ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That's what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. We have... She may have lived her a few minutes after being hit. Hit. She was supposed to have died instantaneously, but they changed the thing. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. No, the last of her strength, she wrote blood. We chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice. What you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Or did you hit her twice? 
Oh, that does seem to make sense. Would you be cross-examining the witness testimony? Of course I will. You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. She ran to the left. Here goes. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. What do you mean by that? That is what I'm about to explain. You Americans, always so impatient. It does not, be it, it does not become you. That's fascinating. He said you Americans. So based on the colors and all that, we, yeah, I, I think you're right, Madu. He might be French. But he said you Americans. Is Phoenix right an American in the Japanese version of the game? That would be interesting to know. Hey, buddy, you're an American, too. Oh, no, he is an American. He's not French. So, Mr. so Red, White, and Blue, he is American. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. So, I wonder if in, J in Japan, if either of them are Americans. No, they Americanized everything. In Japan, it's all Japan. Huh. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. What do you mean, first? First? That's what comes when, when what happens next. You do speak English, right? Please, sit back and relax. We'll try to use simple words for your, for your benefit. First she ran to the left, and then... And then you hit her savagely. That's what I saw. I didn't hit anyone. Now, now, Mr. Wright. There's no point in hiding things from this court. I'm not hiding anything. Prosecution requests that the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, you've been warned. Why is he mad at me? Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. The last of her strength, she supposedly wrote the note. What do you mean next? Phoenix! I see what comes after first. I know that. That's all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. As I said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right chased her and delivered the final blow. Stop saying it was me. Phoenix! It was you. Objection. Mr. Wright, if you claim that it was not you, then show us proof. Ugh. Can I do nothing right? Nothing? Okay, continue. That's what Miss May... Er, that is what Miss May saw. So each you saw different parts. Positively, abso positively. That's awful. That's right, of course. You pick up that annoying phrase. Anyway, moving along. You see, you hit her twice. We have evidence that you. So you're watching both times. I suppose I was. What do you mean you suppose? You can't say that. Please excuse me for not testif testifying this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? Autopsy report. They changed the autopsy report. That's the problem. Died from a blow by a blunt object. May have lived a few minutes after being hit. It doesn't say twice. It does sound like it's once, but... What do you think, Phoenix? I think we've got him. I think we've got him right where we want him. He slipped. Let him laugh for now. We'll soon wipe that smile off his face. This... Miss, uh, Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. What do you mean by that? That is what I'm about to explain. You Americans, always so impatient, does not become you. Hey, buddy, you're American too. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. Wait, are we just looping? Okay, we're looping. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. Can I show the evidence for this? Back to my dish, but I'll be back in a bit. The last of her strength. Ran to the right. <sighs> so, is this gonna work? Nope, it doesn't work. It's clearly faulty, the honor. Sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Fortunately, I will have to penalize you, Mr. Wright. Ugh, 
supposed to be on the wrong track. No, okay, so it is the it is the last thing. Yeah, I probably should save. <laughs> like that just seems like something to bring up, you know, it's like I thought, you know, I like so now what you're trying to say is I'm trying to pin it on my defendant. Chase her and deliver a final blow. That is what Miss May saw. See you hit her twice. Once again, the autopsy report. Objection! Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. See, it doesn't say that anymore in the in the uh, autopsy report. It does say blow by a blown object, but it doesn't say. But yeah, still. <gasps> what do you have to say to that? Uh, the... that's my chance to tell him or to hit him where it counts. Mr. White. Wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely positively perfect? Hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony? The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. We'd like to request a ten minute break. What? Yes, yes quite. The witness is confused because he's lying. I am for... I... Emphatically request that there is no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. <gasps> Very well. The witness, or if the witness would care to revise his testimony, the crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White? Okay. Two accounts. Getting wrecked, Mr. White. Well, see, I looked at the other window. I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. What thing? I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment, I saw Mia run to the left. The killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Uh, and then... Judge, seriously. She turned and ran for the door. And you, then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap! Hmm. Thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Yonner, my stomach, you see, is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. Okay, the fact that this is happening is just feels really great. Uh, well, you see, I looked at the other window when I heard the thing fall. Did you say there's one window in the room? You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, uh, that, uh, the glass, the glass light stand. Yeah, you were in the room. That's how you know it was there. All right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix. Is there something about that strike you was odd? Yes, very odd. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White? Huh? Well, what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Ah, uh, because you're in the room. Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. The, gl the glass light stand was lying on the floor. It was lying on the floor when I looked. Glass, like it was lying on the floor. It's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us this, or tell us about the stand before? Why me? Well, I was instructed not to. Wait, one moment. Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I am so so confused. It's falling apart. No, Your Honor, please. I ask that you do not allow the witness to badger or to be badgered any further, Mr. Wright. Please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. I should put this on the ropes. Very well. The witness may continue his account. You're wrecked. Then the next moment I saw Mia run to the left. 
this man. Mr. White, did you know the victim personally? No, no, no. Triple no. How would I? How could I? I see nothing odd about the witness knowing the name of the victim. Mr. Wright will not have you harrying the witness. You're looking for a little flustered, Edward. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Now, before you said that she was hit, before you said that she was hit, before she ran. Yes, I must have been confused. Don't worry, we all know what happened now. She turned and ran for the door. What did you do then? I gave chase, of course. Holy wow. Wow. That's beautiful. I gave chase, of course. <gasps> no, 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 not me. The killer, I mean. He gave chase. Objection. Mr. White, please try to remain calm. Mr. Wright. Really? Mr. White? Mr. Wright? They're not even trying with this stuff. Mr. Wright here, here is only trying to fluster you with baseless accusations. Oh, all right. Thank you, Miles. And you did her in with a single blow. Thwap! What do you mean, thwap? Thwap? Doesn't sound like the savage attack from your earlier testimony. Ho ho ho, yes, well, I'm a man of peace, you see. Phoenix. He's getting a lot less talkative. He's probably afraid I'll catch up. He's probably afraid I'll catch on to something. But it won't be easy. He's lying on the floor when I looked. Okay, see. See that white is in defense move. He is. Alright, uh, I don't think this is the right time to present it. I do have a lot of HP, though, to just slam it, so I'm just gonna... Okay, wait, wait. I might miss it. Then the next moment I saw me run to the left. Okay, alright, let's try this. I got a lot of... I got a lot of HP here. He's still saying he wasn't there? No, he did slip! <laughs> Bam! Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder. Yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were looking through the window at the office, this is the area you'd be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, Reticulosity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel, as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as the glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment it fell. And the only place it could have been seen is from inside the law or the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Ah! <gasps> Mr. White? Mr. White? You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get a verdict. Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix, right? What? I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White, I think it's the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? What? He's gonna give him a fake crime. I said you should confess your crime. No, Edgeworth! Edgeworth's gonna try and get the guilty verdict. That's not fair. He better not. Or go. Confess that you placed the wiretap. Okay, yeah, okay. That's what it was. He's... Judge, hello. Woo-woo. The wiretap? <gasps> order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain the court what you mean by this. 
distinguished members of the court? Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. Okay, first of all, hold up. You can't do that. You're literally telling him what to say while he's on the witness stand. Like, you can't do that. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor. The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White. In order, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? Correct. You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes. In order to place the wiretap, I breached Fay and Co.'s law offices. <clears throat> that is when I saw the accursed lights er, the accursed light stand. <gasps> now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand, at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would, would like you to believe that Mr. What? Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. <sighs> Localization team, you are a mess. I see. However, it is the fact that Mr. White had been to the office, the office well before the murder took place. He went into the office to place the wiretap. But he's innocent. He's clearly Colonel Mustard. Don't not you two, Mondu. He could have seen the glass stand then. There we go. Phoenix Wright's theory is, is revealed for baseless conjecture it is. <gasps> Mr. White, you will testify to court about this wiretapping. Lies beget more lies. Thank you, Mia. <laughs> Leave it to me. You've got to be kidding me. I, I feel faint. Wiretapping. Time to wreck you again. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Huh. What do we have? Ah, maybe we'll see a confliction with the cell phone record. About when the stuff was placed. Or something, I'm not really sure. The receipt. I don't think that has anything to do with it, does it? I had entered the Fane Co. Law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand the night of the in so you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify that it had fallen over by the sound. Judge, don't add to his thing. What are you doing? Correct, that is right. What was that, Judge? I see, very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. What are you supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. The wiretap. Okay. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Now, for the record, this is, like, one incident, but, like, all I have to do is, like, call some random person into the account, okay, that could have been there, and, like, the third day is almost up here. It's the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Fay's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. True. Huh, that's right. I had entered the Fay and Cole offices. I'm gonna examine every piece of evidence again. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Objection. That's a great question. Unidentified fingerprints uh, several days old were found in the fake Cola offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. Hold up, Edgeworth. That is conjecture and you know it. I know Edgeworth. He's, he's already run a check on those prints. Ooh. Now, Mr. White, tell us, or tell us why you went into Faye and Cola offices. That's a good- so we'll be- we should be able to press that. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. 
Why did you tap me as phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality by breaking other people's confidentiality. That is when I saw the glass light stand. Why did you notice something innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a mutatious thing deserves attention, does it not? Alright, good answer. That's all. There's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh, well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. It was the beginning of September, before the week of the murder. Hmm. He had a call in a while. So we're going to again, is it? It's a clock, is it? Somewhere that's name. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. Put some papers inside of it. Papers that the evidence, then. Look to your imagination. See you tonight at nine. Huh. Huh. We really don't have much to go on here. I don't really want to like guess here, but all right, let's let's bring up the glass at the very least. Beginning of September, we promote right? I do think of course I did so to place the wire tab. Tell me I've run out of ammo. Tisk tisk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. Question, why do they think it's me, other than the fact, like, do they have any evidence it was actually me? Other than his own thing? You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. Phoenix. Phoenix, over here. You know that voice? Me? Yeah. Never give up, Phoenix. Oh, man. Mia? Wait. Where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. I'm still hallucinating. Ah, oh, you're finally awake. Ah. Wait, did I just faint again? Hey, Phoenix! It's the way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Hi, Mia. You're not real. You're... Maya? Did you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Mia's true powers. Or Maya's true powers. So... Maya's channeling you, Mia? That's right, I'm Maya, but I'm also Mia. I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up, and you can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But, but we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? I do. Oh, yeah, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix. Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. Thousand dollars, wow, big spender. Item? Glass light stand. Ah, it's brand new. In fact, I do remember that specifically. I do remember that pretty specifically from before. Phoenix did mention it when he first saw it. it like he was confused by its existence date of purchase september 4th september 4th that's right phoenix i bought that sand the day before i was killed 
Whoa. Then what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, a week before the murder. He saw that stand a week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you have to prove it. Right. Thanks, Mia. Receipt updated. September 9th. Alright. So I, I think I fainted or something? Or <gasps> Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant... Rather... Is the defendant rather... Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Yes. Sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Let's start with where we left off. Your Honor? There's nothing to go back to. The cross examin er, the cross examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now for you to pass judgment on the defendant Phoenix Wright. Objection! Your Honor? Please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. But as Miss Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on the matter? Yeah, do you? Because I'm about to wreck you. I say, let's give Phoenix Wright his last chance. Thanks, Edgeworth. I guess we're good buddies or something. Or r rivals in school, I have no idea. You may begin your cross-examination. So are we in America? Because the tutorial case said the lady went from France to America. No, I mean, wait. Oh no, what if it's California? To Japan. Uh, I can't remember. Because I thought, yeah, I thought the initial one was, I don't know. It was the beginning of September. The week before the murder. I'd entered it. Okay. Alright, let's just, let's just wreck his entire thing. Present! Objection! objection. Big objection. Look closely at this. The word Maya, written in blood. Or, or see the word Maya written in blood? Ha <laughs> ha you're grasping. I think not. It's the music. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what's written on the other side of this receipt? Well, a glass light stand. And the date of purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fayanko offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. <sighs> oh my. Well, Mr. White, you can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor? I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. Ooh. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under the circumstances under these circumstances. So, judge? Very well. <gasps> then that is all for the trial of Objection! Not so fast, Phoenix, right? What? It's a counter music! What? No way! How could he how could he worm his way out of this one? Oh I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There's a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claim. However, there's no er, there's no concrete proof that Wright is innocent. There go. I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? This is going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Uh. Object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. Hmm. Well, I did prove the other guy guilty last time, and I was the defense attorney. I need the data to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. 
Let's see. Objection denied. What? <gasps> the completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if it can't end, if I can't end this now. I should have this sure to come up with, or just make something up. After Mia showed up to help me and all. Mr. Your Honor? Actually, Sex Day might help us get Mr. White guilty. Mr. Your Honor? May I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. The witness will stay. Ooh, Mia. Mia? Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what is this? Mia's memo. A list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Ooh, did you just make that? Your Honor, if I may? You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life's riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. Thanks, Mia. What's that? Take that! Is he going to play the music? Actually, we don't know what's happening. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance. Famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Does this halt? Please, stop. Make him stop. How? How did you get that list? Mr. White? Admit your guilt. Right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. Uh, am I blackmailing the witness? Uh, I confess. I confess. I did it. I killed her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Whoa. Case closed, Your Honor. Uh, so is Maya talking to the judge? <laughs> well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Done it again. It was quite a spirited defense. Yes, yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how I spirited it, or how spirited it was. Oh, well, his court finds a defense. <laughs> Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright, not guilty. Ah, oh, Edgeworth, you lost your first case, and everybody celebrated. <gasps> That is all. This court is adjourned. Well, Edgeworth, nice try. September 9th, 2.24 p.m., District Court, Defense Lobby, uh, number uh, number one. This reminds me so much of Persona 5, getting people to confess themselves. <laughs> like, this is great. I have something. Maybe, maybe there's like this, a backlink to this in that way. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. Well, congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me, and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No! There's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief Chief. I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight, say 9 o'clock? You know what happened last time, Mia. The offices? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia. September 9th, 9.02. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came. Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? Phoenix pulling some game shark codes to win that trial. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> you should see your face. Mia? No, it's... Oh, I... Yeah, me, Maya. It's Maya, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. Maya? What, did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm. Might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix. Go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? 
because of this. See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? She needs the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? And who better than me, Maya Fang, reporting for duty? Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here! Ready to get down to business. You, you don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. You know what this means? We're partners! You know what I think about it? It's Maya's fault I'm here, er, it's Maya's fault I'm here right now, but... If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in cool offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah, thanks, Maya. Screenshot. <laughs> good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Right. Okay, Nick, let's do this. Huh? Do, do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Haunted lawyer office. It is. Come on, time's wasting. Okay, wait up. The end. GG, case number two, solved. A new episode has been added. All right. Anyway, I wanted to thank you so much for joining me today. That was really, really awesome sauce. So number one, the first case, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was fantastic introduction. The second case was, I think, more of an introduction closer to what the game will be. So I'm excited. The game is really, really good so far. I don't know how many episodes are in the game itself, but... I do know that based on the price I've paid, I've already I've already enjoyed the game enough to warrant the uh, purchase. So that's been really great. Uh, yeah, so I can't wait to continue playing this. Next, we'll be starting episode three. So thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.